Ever since I was 14 or 15, I've had the goal to run a marathon. And this weekend, I finally did it. I ran the marathon in the Maroondah Dam trail run. It was way harder than I was expecting. The trail itself, it was a trail run, so that's automatically a difficult marathon. Uh, but the slope, like we gained 1900 meters over the course of the race, which I was not prepared for. I underestimated the hills, the mountain, uh, and it was really, really hard. But uh, let's revisit the day. Good morning. It is marathon day. I've been... Uh, been training for marathon for quite a while now. I was looking to run one back in November, got COVID, couldn't do it. Uh, so we're doing this one in April. And uh, so it's been a long time coming. I am feeling reasonably well rested um, because I've been just managing an injury. Um, I haven't really run in the last week at all. I've done a few walks. Uh, I'm having breakfast at the moment. <laughs> and... Uh, We'll see how today goes. I went for a rough one, I think. It's going to be hard. Um, when I signed up for this one, I didn't quite realise that it was um, a trail that has uh, 1,900 metres gained over the race. So it's going to be pretty full on. But we'll do it. The goal today is just to finish, really. Um, and then, you know, later in the year, we'll, we'll think about times for slightly easier marathons. So let's do it. Well, yeah, it's a gorgeous morning for it. It was a gorgeous morning. I had to collect my bib. There were no mail outs, but there was just under 300 runners across all of the events, so that was no problem. It was great to meet Tim and Shelby and family before the run as part of the support crew for the day, before we got into the race briefing, which was good to listen to because there are a few loops, which is good to get our heads around. <laughs> The 42 and the 50 kilometer races both started together with a 300 meter loop going back through the starting line and then a two and a half kilometer loop also going back through the starting line before eventually going up the mountain. I found the first 10 kilometers fairly comfortable. I managed to run the first 10 in about an hour, which was about what I was aiming for. I was really happy with that. I was taking it fairly comfortably, running about six minute kilometers. A little bit of discomfort when I came across a water crossing. So I was running with wet socks for the next couple of hours until they eventually dried out. But it was a really lovely start to the race with some gentle incline. I quickly started to miss the gentle inclines though as the incline increased as we approached Mount St. Leonard and uh, I had to walk fair chunks of it along with the rest of the runners because it was just too steep to run. How far are you in now? Uh, this is about 12 and a half. Oh wow. This last kind of two kilometers have been really slow. Yeah. I've uh, been very steep. Yeah. And I think I've got a few more kilometers before I kind of levels out so it's been yep. pretty brutal last little while. Yep. You doing okay? Yeah yeah no body's holding up alright. Just decided that I walked the steep parts because you just can't run them. Yeah. Um yeah lake's doing alright so I'm actually okay. It was nice to have Tim for about a kilometre and when he left me at around aid station two, things started to get much, much steeper. We started running amongst clouds and it was pretty intense. Hey, hey. Uh, conquered it. Hello, that was brutal. Yeah, feeling okay? Uh, yeah. Managing all right, the last two kilometers up since you left me, well, the two kilometers after that were just yeah. very yeah. steep. Yeah. Um, but we've made it work and 
little bit of technical downhill there. Yeah. But feeling okay. The next 15 or so kilometres were quite undulating. There was some downhills and some uphills. The uphills really took it out of me after my <laughs> reaching the top of Mount St. Leonard. So I was feeling pretty weary at this point. It's sad you can't even see the elevation in the video. You can never tell. That's super steep. It was about five hours into my race when I was approaching the top of Mount St. Leonard again before beginning the main descent of the race. I was feeling pretty ordinary at this point. Well, I didn't film a lot over the next couple of hours because I was focusing on moving forward but it was nice to have some downhill sections though I was still feeling it really hard. It was great to eventually finally get to the damn wall and I could sense that I was very close to finishing. Yes, just down the hill everybody's waiting. You're working. Well done. Go Scott! And so after a race which I found way harder than I was expecting, I finally finished my first marathon with a time of 6 hours, 55 minutes and 7 seconds. So I did it in just under seven hours. It was way slower than I was expecting. I kind of expect myself to be able to run a, a flat road marathon maybe in about four hours. So to do it in just under seven was pretty full on. I, yeah, as I said, really underestimated the hills. There was a lot more walking than I was hoping uh, because I just couldn't physically go up the slopes. The second half of the marathon was really full on anything with an with an incline, I found very difficult. I couldn't run a lot of them, uh, especially when it started getting steeper. Uh, even some of the downhills, because it was so steep, it, I had to walk it because it was so technical and I couldn't physically run down. Uh, it would be dangerous. And I made it. We got we got through. It was, it was really ugly, but I'm so pleased that after, you know, three years of having this YouTube channel, I, which originally my goal was to document my process to getting to a marathon. You know, three years later, I have finally done it and I'm so pleased. I'm so grateful as well for my support crew, the people who came along to support me. So thank you, Tim and Shelby for coming along and bringing along Acacia and Oakley. Thank you as well, Terry, our friend, and um, also my wife, Steph, for coming along to support me on the day, to for popping around to the different stations. I realised that I probably should have not carried as much as I did on me. I think I made my journey harder. I had both my backpack and a belt, which I think was probably a bit much. You know, I am adding weight by doing that, and that didn't make my task any easier. Uh, and having the support crew, I probably could have left a few things with them to collect later on. And I didn't end up needing as much water as I took because of the location of the stations and, um, you know, being able to refill things as I went. So I didn't need to carry as much weight as I had, but that's how it goes sometimes. So learning for next time, I am not sure if I'll run another trail marathon. It was really brutal. I'm looking forward to running uh, easier marathons by comparison later in the year. I am booked in to do the run for the young in November. And depending on how I recover from this one, uh, the, the, just the time frame, I may also do the Melbourne marathon, which is in the start of October. That I'm just assessing if I'm able to recover from a marathon fast enough to do another one within about a seven week turnaround, because that's what it'll be from the October marathon to the November marathon. But we'll, uh, we'll see how we go with those. So I am, yeah, really grateful, really pleased that I was able to finish this race. It was slow, but I got it done and I'm really pleased about that. It's been a long time coming, lots of setbacks. Um, you know, I was meant to run, I was hoping to run a marathon in 2021, injured my knee, couldn't do it. Was hoping to run it again in 2020, injured my knee, and then it was looking good for the November marathon. I got COVID two weeks before. Uh, and so this was kind of a good timing for it, even though 
probably not a good one to start on. This is a brutal first marathon, <laughs> but I did it. I'm really pleased. I'm pretty sore now. I don't think I've aggravated any injuries, which I'm really pleased by, but we'll see how I'll, I'll take some time off now uh, to recover and then I'll reassess what my next goals will be. I'm hoping to transition into more of a speed uh, season where I'm looking to improve my five kilometer time and it just increase the leg speed because I haven't done any speed work in a while now. <laughs> we will just do the marathon training. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey. If you've been subscribed to Four Running Shoes uh, and have been following for you know nearly three years now I've been doing this channel, I really appreciate your support. And thank you, Tim, uh, and for your support as well, keeping me accountable and for coming along on the day to support. I really appreciate that. Uh, keen to hear how your training is going. You've got your, ring, your wings for life run in a couple of weeks time. Looking forward to seeing how that's all traveling. And uh, I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching.